Unravel the mystery. Homophones and homonyms in English. Hello everyone, and welcome to our today's English language learning video. We're going to delve into an exciting aspect of the English language. Homophones and homonyms. Now, you might be wondering, why are we talking about these linguistic terms? Well, understanding these is crucial in mastering the English language. And more importantly, they play a significant role in enhancing our vocabulary. So, stick around as we explore, understand, and practice these language components. Before we dive into the resources, let's refresh our understanding of these two terms. Homophones are words that sound the same but have different meanings and may have different spellings. For example, flower and flower. On the other hand, homonyms are words that sound alike and are spelled alike but have different meanings. A good example would be bat and animal and bat used in cricket or baseball. Remember, the key to distinguishing between homophones and homonyms is the spelling. So, why is it important to learn about homophones and homonyms when learning English? Well, these pairs or sets of words can significantly impact your English language learning journey. When you understand the difference between these words, it not only helps you to improve your vocabulary but also enhances your spelling and pronunciation skills. Plus, it can avoid misunderstandings and improve your overall communication skills. Alright, let's move on to the most exciting part. How can you learn and practice homophones and homonyms? 1. Word Lists Start with a list of common homophones and homonyms. This can serve as your reference guide while learning these tricky words. You can make flashcards with these words and their meanings. 2. Practice with sentences. Once you're familiar with the word list, start practicing with sentences. Write down sentences using each meaning of the homophones and homonyms. This will help you understand the context of their usage. 3. Reading and listening. Reading books, listening to podcasts or watching movies can help you see these words in real-world context. Pay close attention to the words that sound similar but have different meanings. 4. English learning games. There are plenty of English learning games available that focus on homophones and homonyms. These games make learning these words fun and interactive. 5. Daily practice. Consistency is the key. Make it a habit to learn and practice a set of new homophones and homonyms every day. Remember, practice makes perfect. It might be challenging at first, but over time, you'll be able to use these words confidently in your daily conversations. Well, that wraps up our session for today. We've covered the basics of homophones and homonyms, their impact on English language learning, and some resources you can use to learn and practice. Remember, the key is to keep practicing and use these words in context. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll explore more interesting facets of the English language. Until then, keep practicing and happy learning!